alkyne ozonolysis. Just like we can do ozonolysis of alkenes, we can do ozonolysis of alkynes. Let's review the outcome of ozonolysis of alkenes. If we react an alkene with first ozone and second dimethyl sulfide, the ozone snips along the pi bond and turns each of the two carbons in the pi bonds into carbonyls. This gives us two fragments. The fragment on the left, which has the carbon skeleton I've highlighted. We just replace the fragment on the right in that molecule with an oxygen, so it's a carbonyl. And this is an aldehyde. The fragment on the right forms a ketone. And we just put an oxygen here. If, in the second step, instead of using a reducing agent like dimethyl sulfide, we use an oxidizing agent like hydrogen peroxide, Instead of forming carbonyls, we form carboxyls. The fragment on the left makes this carboxylic acid. However, the fragment on the right will still make the ketone because of the substitution of the alkene. When we do ozonolysis of alkynes, it's a similar outcome. Our first reagent is ozone. But for the second reagent, all we need is water, a very mild oxidizing agent. Again, we snip down the center of the pi bonds, and we get two fragments. But in the case of an internal alkyne, we get two carboxylic acids. If our substrate is a terminal alkyne, the substituted side produces a carboxylic acid, and the unsubstituted side produces carbon dioxide. I should mention that synthetic chemists have told me this is unreliable and a much better pathway is to first reduce your alkyne and then do ozonolysis with peroxide. So that reduction step with the poison catalyst, Lindlar's catalyst, gives us the cis alkene, which if we want to do ozonolysis to get carboxylic acids, we can then react it with ozone followed by hydrogen peroxide. And that this is a better pathway than doing ozonolysis of the alkyne. Now, ask yourself, is there another reduction pathway that we could use to get from an alkyne to an alkene. Does it need to be a cis alkene? The answer is no. We could also use 
the dissolving metal reduction to get the transalkene. So if in the first step we react our alkyne with sodium and ammonia, we get the transalkene. Right, and then we can do ozonolysis with peroxide. And this gives us our pair of carboxylic acids. Here's an exercise for you to try. If I have this dicyclopentyl alkyne and I do ozonolysis of it, what product or products will I get? Also, is there a better alternative method? Pause your video now and work it out yourself. Ozonolysis will snip across the pi bonds and the two pi bonded carbons will become carboxyls. And so we get cyclopentanoic acid from the left-hand fragment and cyclopentanoic acid from the right-hand fragment. They're the same. The alternative method would be to first make the alkene using reduction with a poison catalyst to get cis, or you could go trans with dissolving metal. We'll do H2 Lindlar's. And this gives us the cis alkene, which if we then do ozonolysis using ozone, followed by hydrogen peroxide, we get the same result and we should get a better yield.